Ricardo Live. When this Monday night goes out to Marsha Russell over there in Wendy's downtown, you see, everyone knows Marsha, okay? Well, you know that old hen thinks she's still a young biddy. I ain't gonna say no more to Marsha. Over the hill, baby. Grandpa Matanis Association said to host the Subway Gym Tennis Tournament this weekend. Hey, our Megan Shepard was courtside to get some info for you. GBTA President Natishka Barrett says they are looking forward to a high level of competition this weekend. She is encouraging the entire community to support the young tennis players and offer motivation and encouragement. We anticipate that we might have between 15 to 20 participants in the tournament from Nassau and perhaps about 50 to 60 persons altogether in the tournament. So it's shaping up to be a tremendous event and we're grateful to Subway for sponsoring it. Public Relations Officer Oliver Mizik says the best of the best will be in the courts this weekend and here's how it'll work. All categories would be playing uh, from uh, age 8 to 18 and under would be in here and we have some very fine um, young players 8 and 9 and so forth and so you're going to see some of the finest tennis played here on these courts over this weekend coming. The tournament will be played at the YMCA courts and executive director Karen Pinder Johnson says she is elated they chose to host a tournament at their facilities. And the first time was very exciting so we are anticipating an even more exciting um, um, level of play here at the YMCA. We're just elated to be able to have the facilities to offer to the community of Grand Bahama and the Bahamas at, at large. Play takes place Friday through Sunday. Megan Shepard, CNS Total Sports. Well, a mess of a Grand Bahama star by the tennis courts today, folks. And Joe Davis' role would not put on a pair of tennis shoes. She said those heels is what she got. Local tennis players were preparing to swing into action in this year's version of the Grand Bahama Tennis Association Subway Junior National Tournament this weekend at the YMCA courts. On Friday, ahead of the official opening, the Minister for Grand Bahama, the Honorable Dr. Michael Dabo, speaking on behalf of the Minister of Sports, the Honorable Daniel Johnson, announcing the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture's plans to develop the sport of tennis here on Grand Bahama. The government of the Bahamas and our desire to improve sporting facilities on the island have included in our plans to develop spaces at the Grand Bahama Sporting Complex where our tennis uh, clinics can be held in the future. We have envisioned that this particular space that will be at the sporting complex will definitely be able to track both local and international sporting events. Minister Darville says the government is committed to seeing young Bahamian tennis players advance to the international level. As Minister for Grand Bahama, I pledge my full support uh, for this event and any event that you have in the future. I'm so pleased to see so many young people are here uh, from Grand Bahama and through the com throughout the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And I am certain that this particular tournament will prove to be successful. And in the months and years to come, we can work together to develop the game of tennis to a point where our young people can actually become professionals and excel in the sport. While encouraging participants from various islands to do their best, Minister Davos says when it comes to his favorite team, it's no secret. I'm pulling for Freeport. Uh, I, I must say that, but uh, you can't expect no different. But ZNS told sports, I'm Joan Davis Rowe. Well, Pelican Bay Resort is a venue for the Little League uh, Baseball Congress that's taking place, and our Megan Shepard went there this morning. Member of Parliament for East Grand Bahama, Peter Turnquest, congratulating the Little League Association of Grand Bahama for coordinating such a successful Congress. Over 20 countries are on island for the Congress, which will chart the way forward in the sport of baseball for Latin America and the Caribbean. The work that all of these volunteers, and, and most of them are volunteers, are doing, uh, pouring into the lives of our young people is invaluable. And so I congratulate them for all the work they're doing and thank them for what they're doing and helping to build a society that we can all be proud of. Chairman of the Bahamas Public Parks and Public Beaches Authority, Senator Greg Burrows, bringing remarks on behalf of the Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture. He encouraged the international delegations to consider the Bahamas when planning sporting tournaments. I encourage them to continue to do what they do for the development of children in our area and in the region. Um, spoke to the um, construction of the Andre Rogers Stadium, which give us opportunity to host um, older age kids uh, uh, on its completion. 
and also invite them to continue to bring the youth league games here. President of the Bahamas Baseball Federation Theodore Sweeting says the Bahamas is well prepared to be a host country for tournaments and events. We're locking down a, a, a major tournament to be hosted in the stadium next year. So, government, the tournament is here. We're going to be hosting an 18U national tournament, which is going to have at least 10 countries coming down to open our national stadium. The delegations will also have the opportunity to tour the island of Grand Bahama. Megan Shepard, CNS Total Sports. Way to go. Well, $60. New brother for girls basketball classic on today three over there to St. George's Gym. Junior girls play. S.C. Boodle defeated Freedom Baptist 21 to 18. Also, Bishop Michael Lenovo Tabernacle 19 6. Eggmar Rockhart scoring Central Luthra 32 to 2. Sister Baby Trisha Russell with a 16 6 win over Central Luthra. Uh, Taking a look at the senior girls, it was uh, Doris Johnson with a 32 29 win over St. George's Tabernacle of Eggmar Rock 32 to 14. C.L. Walker defeated uh, BMES at 25 to 19. And C.B. Bathel with a 24 17 win over Grand Bomb Academy. Now, play continues tomorrow at 12 30 in the afternoon the junior girls final is set for four o'clock tomorrow and the senior girls final is set for six o'clock and the girls will get a chance to go down to west end and have some fun whilst they are here big dreams and girls just want to have fun is the motto of that tournament and i gotta say to uh, bishop uh, ricardo grant jeff williams and also wilbur major you guys are a year older i wonder if y'all getting any better anyhow that's a look at your sports tonight <laughs>